RT was just released and today we're gonna find out how strong he is. I'm gemming all the way up until tier 30 so that I can unlock him, which I do not recommend doing. There are much better ways for you guys to spend gems, but I'm really excited about RT. He seems really good. But today we're gonna find out just how good. I'm gonna completely max him out and then I'm going to select him in Power League for every single match, no matter the map or the mode. I'm gonna buy his gadget, which I think is probably gonna be pretty useless. And I'm gonna buy his star power, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be fantastic. We'll also grab all of his gears. However, I do think that there are two specific ones that are gonna be fantastic for him. The damage gear and his health gear because he has so much HP. After I've played him enough in Power League to see how strong he is, I'm gonna rank him in four different categories. Damage, utility, survivability, and how good is he for new players? The whole point of this video is to let you guys know whether or not this season is actually worth buying specifically for RT and whether or not he's worth putting resources into after you've unlocked him. I'll even compare him to other chromatic brawlers to see if he's worth spending chroma credits on. Since the RT sneak peek, Supercell actually gave RT a bunch of nerfs, so you guys probably aren't sure how strong he is because I don't even know how strong he is, which is why we're gonna find out. Okay, first up, we got Knockout Bell's Rock. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, first pick, here we go. RT, power 11. They're all thinking, wow, that guy can't win a single match, so he has to spend gems to win. Well, we'll see if they're right. <laughs> We've got an Edgar on our team, so this could be really great or really terrible. This is the first time that I'm really playing against real players on RT, so we're gonna see how good he is. Now, for playing Knockout, obviously I'm gonna try and keep my distance. We're gonna try and tag people. Okay, we got the, we got the marker on him. Oh, I would blame the Edgar, but he was the last one to die. Okay, we're just attacking from a distance. I don't want to Meg to charge up her super. I don't know if it's even worth using my super here. There's like no reason that I can think of to use it. Okay, Edgar. Oh, awesome. Edgar. Okay, he died, but it's fine. He played that well. Okay, if I can get really close to that dynamite, then I can kill him. Oh, that, that worked out perfectly. Okay, 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 this is good. Okay, Meg's got her super again. I'm just gonna try and get rid of it from a distance. Oh, that was not good. Oh, that actually worked. That actually worked. I used my super and it did something. That was great, but you gotta be really close to somebody. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just barely tagging this Meg. Oh, she's she's gone, okay. Is she close to turning up her super though, when she comes back? I don't know. Oh, Edgar almost made it out of there. No, I can't believe he just got me. Ah, that's so frustrating. That was just, he just barely clipped me. Okay, Bonnie's got it, very good. Dude, this Bonnie's actually crushing it. She's doing super well. Oh, yes, yes! Okay, I gave her the thumbs up, I cheered for her. She knows that I think she's awesome, but our Edgar is AFK in the back. Oh, dang it. Okay, Bonnie got rid of somebody. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, but I've got this, I've got this, actually. Come on. Ah, dang it, oh, that is so frustrating. There's nothing I can do. Okay, oh, got rid of her, very nice. But now I need to charge up my super. Okay, but I am extra fast now. Maybe I should have just used, oh, that's gonna kill me. That's gonna kill me. Oh, that's really weird. I'm such an easy target against a dynamite like that. There's nothing I can do. What a weird mechanic. Okay, Bonnie played really well. She really did. But that's a win and a loss. Please tell me you're with us, Edgar. He is a bot. He's just charging them. Oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. I'm reporting him. I'm reporting him. What can you do? If you go AFK, I, I'm, I'm gonna report you if it's that clear. What I tell you guys about the editor is either gonna be great or it's gonna be terrible, so. Oh my gosh, same map. Okay, well, here we go. You guys know how this goes. We're banning Dynamite. <laughs> Perfect, all three throwers or main throwers are banned. Oh, they went Daryl. I don't know what to think about that. Okay, my goal here is to kind of stay by the barley and protect him in case that Daryl charges up his super, and also to just get some little tags on people to increase their damage. Oh boy. That was good timing there, barley. Okay, very good. Oh, this is, we're just dominating this. This is fantastic. I think I just use my super if Daryl jumps on us or something like that. Actually, my super is kind of a hard counter against Daryl because he's gonna split up his damage between my two bottom halves and he doesn't have that kind of DPS to be able to deal with both of them. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. That was fantastic. It was so much damage. Okay, we're facing off against this Otis now. They swap lanes. Dude, that Barley attack did so much damage because she was tagged. Dude, we can kill him now. Oh, we don't even need to. Oh, perfect. Dude, the Janet just knows that it's up. She knows. 
There we go. <laughs> Dude, his projectiles are skinny, but they are fast. Like, it's not super, you have to have really good aim to hit his shots, but it's, if you hit it right, they go fast and will hit your target. It's really strong projectiles, really though. Okay, that was very good, we got a win. Okay, some gem grab, that's nice, not knockout. An enemy mortis and a fang, interesting. I don't know what to think about that. Like, you know that Mortis is just grinding out the mastery, right? Like, there's no way he's actually thinking that Mortis is good. I'm worried. Okay, I think that it makes sense for me to be gem carrier because I'm tanky. I'm kind of long range. I can do a fair amount of damage. I can tag people from both lanes. Uh, we can do that. We can kill Fang. Whoa, that was cool. <laughs> just, just wrecked him. Okay. Dude, and I just teleport away. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Okay, interesting. This is, he's such a weird brawler. Like, what was that? This is actually turning out to look really scary. <laughs> How did that crow survive that? That was insane. RT feels a little weird. Okay, I need to do a better job at just keeping my distance and attacking from a range. <laughs> No, he died, he killed my legs and I died. That is the weirdest thing about RT. Like, is it worth using my super? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> okay, I died. Terra, stay alive, Crow. Crow is the master at staying alive. What is his deal? Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> he was going in and I just slammed him. Hey, and I got Star Flare. Oh, that was great, dude. That damage is insane. Oh, and this player icon. Look at this. This is really cool. Look at all these quests they gave us for the beginning of the season. This is actually awesome. It's just an extra 4,000 gold just sitting there, like just waiting to be collected. Okay, we're jumping into some club league. So I got some club mates here. We're just, you know, just got to get those club matches in. <laughs> Every bit of progression helps. And we're doing more knockouts. Sweet. Except for RT, this is actually a pretty solid knockout map. In fact, RT is actually a really great brawler for knockout because he marks people and actually increases the damage of not just his attacks but whoever hits him next dude that mark lasts forever too also it like it kind of shows you where they're at in the bushes when they pop out for just a brief second it doesn't actually show you but like it, it kind of increases the vision because that light is below them you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about right like that light is below him, so it increases the range at which you can see somebody hiding in the bushes if they're directly above you. Okay, we're just absolutely smashing these people. Barley can't even kill me. Look at this. Oh, I can't even kill Barley, dang it. Oh no, they're still in my thunder. Oh, got him. Oh, I didn't get him. Dang it, I thought I got him. And that should be enough to kill him. Yes, it is. Boom, okay, I got another kill, thank you. Oh, that was a very satisfying splash from Penny. <laughs> okay, solid victory. Oh, and we actually ranked up his rank. That's fantastic. Plus 90? How high is our club league? Oh, we're in legendary three, so th that should have been more difficult than it seemed. Okay, finally some Brawl Ball. Ooh, they've got a couple of tanks. This is gonna be interesting. I can't afford to like hit them and then have them disappear into the bush, so the vision gear is the way to go for this. Like, even though it's gonna be a little bit tricky to hit them in the first place, that's what we gotta do. Oh, that was weird. Okay, and then I come back and I'm, I'm healed. Interesting. Okay, we tag him, we deal damage to him. We tag him, we deal damage to him. Okay, then we got a goal. Oh, I was not paying attention to that super on me. Okay, we got another goal. I can do it like that though. <gasps> Teleport back, sweet. That worked out, that worked out. When his super, when his second super works out, well, honestly, just when his super works out anytime, I'm always like really happy with it because it's such a weird mechanic. I, I don't fully know how to use it all the time, but this will, this is a good time to use it. <laughs> we just annihilated them. That is so good. Dude, oh man, he he deals so much damage. His first attack doesn't. Boink! Yes! Oh, oh, this is cool. Teleport! Oh, that did not work out how I thought it was gonna work out. 
I, <laughs> I was gonna kick it to myself and teleport, but I kicked it to the primo. The, the thing is though, is that if the primo and them actually knew that they could just kill me by killing my lower half, then that would have not worked out at all. But it was, it was, it was a cool idea. It was a cool idea. Dude, he made it. That was awesome. Wow, RT is weird and cool and unique and oh my gosh and 90 additional experience from Clubly. That's so great to my mastery. No, RT was banned. Oh no, <laughs> of course he was. Well, I can't just exit, so I'm, I'll pause this recording. I'll be back. Okay, I've got a lot of thoughts on RT already that I want to share, but I would really like to do knockout again. <laughs> what I was going to say is I'd really like to do heist or bounty. <laughs> my goal here is to spam RT so fast that as soon as they see that it's I've picked them and I'm ready to go, that they're like, oh, we, we can't beat this. We have to give up. The gemmer is too strong to beat. And then we can reroll out. Yes, it worked. It worked. <laughs> okay, bounty or hot zone. Let's go. Yes. Ooh, split. Ooh, interesting. Okay. I want to get rid of the throwers and yeah, get rid of Grom, get rid of Sprout, get rid of Rico. Perfect. That's fantastic. Man, these randoms are like in sync with me. Like when else does this ever happen? Oh, and they got rid of Rico. Yes. Oh, this is fantastic. And Squeak and Colonel Ruffs. This bounty matchup could not have been better for RT. Okay, now I'm going to do the complete opposite of what I did last time. I, I think I'm going to, yeah, we'll go with RT. Interesting. Yeah, and he's gonna pick his really fast and not exit. Yes, okay, we're locked in. Let's go. Uh, I don't want two of us to be against Jesse, who's doing bounce shots. Let's let's come over here. Oh, dang it! No, I was hoping to get in there. That was, I didn't know if that was gonna be good or bad, but I tried it. Okay. Now let's help this guy take this zone here, dude. This Ash is actually really playing well. I can't do anything against that Ash, dude. My attacks just like get taken out by a super so easily. Ooh, we got wrecked really bad there. Okay, let's do, yeah, us two over on the right side. Ah, why is he splitting? There's gonna be two people over here, dude. I can't handle two of them. I'm a, I'm basically a support brawler. It's okay, we got this right here. Get right here. Okay, very good. Oh, I can deal with these now. Very good. Now we're gonna come right here. Oh, that's, that works out great. Oh, oh, and now I teleport over here so I can get in. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't work quite how I wanted. He was right there. Ash is very annoying. I need my super to be able to deal with him like that. Teleport back. We're alive. I'm stuck in the wall. <laughs> I was literally stuck in the wall. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, Ash is here. Oh, Crow's in there. Crow's in there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. That actually worked out really well. It's weird because RT's sometimes a counter against Ash and sometimes Ash counters him. It depends on what fate, what form he's in and it's it's complete, it's weird. Well, kind of, I don't know, he doesn't, okay, it's just Ash right here. I can't deal enough damage, my reload speed is really slow, but I need just one more hit. There we go, very good. Now I'm in exactly where I want to be. He's gonna come in here and I'm just gonna wreck it. There's, there's very little he can do. He's gonna come in here and I'm just gonna smash him. Oh, that was just awesome. Oh, yes. That was fantastic. Just playing super aggressive. I don't have my super now. I was spamming my attack so much. Okay. We got that side. Uh, we just need three seconds. Or, oh, 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 get in there. No. Oh, it's because I died again. Oh, okay. Well, that was unfortunate. The Ash was a really good pick. He played really well, but I do feel like I got a good handle of RT in that match. That was good. I learned some things. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I'm gonna hope that I get Bounty, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world because I've done three knockout matches. Okay, double swoosh. That's perfectly good. Three knockout matches. Knockout's very similar to Bounty, kind of. So it's, it, I, I feel like I can talk about him without doing Bounty, but let's do this match first. Okay, we actually got some really good bands right here. I'm really proud of my randoms today. They've been doing well. I love the bands that we got. That was bad. That was great. We are going to go with the vision gear instead of the heal gear. I love tagging people. It just like, they just take so much damage. Oh, let's just come right here. Boink. <laughs> yes. Okay. They're going to deal damage to my, my body and I'm just going to just let them and tank it, I guess. Dude, tagging them, it just marks them for death. It really does. This RT, oh my gosh, guys, he's good. He's good. He's not easy to pick up, but he's good. Wow. We got one more match and then we'll talk about how good I think he is. The projectiles are small and skinny, but man, do they hit hard and they're fast. 
Oh, okay, well we killed him, and now it's on Poco. So, not so good, not so good. I wanna get in there. Okay, I got my super back up. Okay, Poco's gonna come over here. Oh, and I died. I was just gonna, oh man. I was playing so aggressive. It worked out so well the last match that I was just like, yeah, this is great. It's okay, we'll still come to it right here. Boink. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's, that's really so much damage. Okay, there's another win. So, how strong is RT? I should start this off by mentioning that I did not use his gadget a single time this entire time. And honestly, it's not because there was like a good time to use it and I just forgot about it. it. You have to separate your body and have enemies between your body and your regular self, which is not a good situation to put your character in because if your lower half dies, you die. So his gadget, at least his first one, pretty much completely useless in my opinion. His star power, it keeps those marks on there for three seconds longer. That is really helpful. There were so many times that I would mark somebody and then they would go off into the distance or whatever and I'd forget about them and then they would show back up with the mark still on them, which allows RT to do 2100 damage for every single attack. That's crazy. Having those extra three seconds is fantastic. I don't know if it's gonna be stronger or worse than his second star power, which isn't out yet, but his star power is very useful. And RT himself is so strong, okay? I had a 75% win rate, which is well above average for me in Pl Club Le or Power League. However, I only got star player once, which kind of shows that like RT is not really that great at dealing damage himself, because star player takes damage mostly into consideration. He's kind of like a support damage dealer. Tagging opponents so that your teammates can actually take them out can be a huge strategy, because there are brawlers that can actually hit more damage per projectile than RT can. As for his damage score, I'm gonna give him a nine out of 10. Hitting an enemy once does not do very much damage. In fact, it's pretty weak, but afterwards they are marked to take 2,100 damage from a very long distance, which is very strong. He does have a little bit of a slower reload speed, but the fact that he can burst through insane amounts of HP in close range, honestly, it kind of feels unfair. Like I, I feel like there should be a little bit of delay after he uses a super because it's really strong. Enemies have to be kind of as stupid to like expect it, but if you're playing RT as a long range brawler the entire match, it's really easy for them to forget that you can't get close to him if his super is charged up. As for his utility score, I'm gonna go with an eight out of 10. RT can deal damage from a distance, he can deal damage up close, he can double his HP against single target enemies by using his super, and he can teleport back to his base, which isn't very useful, but sometimes it can come in really clutch like we saw today. Now he does have a gadget that can slow enemies, but it's pretty useless in my opinion. I really, maybe I should have tried to use it a little bit more this this video but it seems pretty awful but ultimately rt can be played on a ton of maps on a ton of modes against a lot of different types of brawlers and you can make some really cool plays with them as for survivability i, I think an 8 out of 10 is fair maybe a 7 out of 10. he doesn't have any major heals or shields he does have a tiny sh heal when he actually teleports back to his base but it's not very good he is a very tanky brawler though especially for a long range brawler and he can survive even against assassins that jump on them which most long range brawlers can't do. Honestly, RT's only poor score is his ease of use score. I'm gonna give him a five out of 10. He's got a long range and a very fast projectile, but it's also very, very skinny and difficult to hit if you're not good at aiming with those long range brawlers. It's also pretty difficult to know exactly when you should use his super and when not to, because he actually becomes a really easy target if he splits up from his body and doesn't have another super to teleport back to it. At the beginning of this video, I definitely showed that where I just died because somebody could attack his lower half, right? And I was like, well, not thinking about it. So you really have to be careful with his super. But with all that said, any skilled player watching this video is going to realize that he's going to be very strong and he's not going to be hard to pick up. I only think that newer players should prioritize upgrading other brawlers and unlocking them because RT is very strong. In fact, unless he gets any major nerfs, I wouldn't pick pretty much any other chromatic brawler other than him, like except for maybe Otis or Sam that are very competitive at the moment. RT is a well-rounded, really strong brawler, and I would even recommend upgrading him over most of the other brawlers in the game right now. If you're if you're skilled at Brawl Stars, he's a great option. Now, I don't think that he's the strongest brawler to ever be released. There have been much worse situations, but based off of my early limited experience with him, I would be surprised if he did not end up getting some nerfs in this next update. Maybe not even like huge nerfs, but something, because for right now, he's definitely S tier. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to spend money on Brawl Stars at all, the Brawl Pass is absolutely the best way to spend it, whether or not the Chromatic Brawler is even any good at all. So yes, I would recommend buying this Brawl Pass 100%. And if you do buy the Brawl Pass, I would really appreciate 
appreciate you guys going into the shop and entering code Kairos before you do, because it actually goes a long ways in helping support my channel. That's how you spell Kairos. K-A-I-R-O-S. Code Kairos in the Brawl Stars shop. Boom. As for now, let me know what you think of RT in the comment section below, and make sure you guys subscribe for future content or check out these other awesome videos right here. For now, this is Kairos. I'm ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.